Hi, I'm Sarah with the Canine Family Planner. This is a short video to talk you through the process in regards to progesterone blood testing. I'm not going to walk through the benefits of progesterone blood testing for your bitch in the breeding program because I've covered that in other videos. This is very much a video for you know that you want to progesterone blood test but you're not quite sure what to do next. Now there's two key things you should do before your bitch is even in season and the first is to order your kits online so you have them prepared and ready, you'll be able to read the information that's in the pack so it gives you that confidence that when you approach your vet for the blood draw that you know what you're talking about. The second is actually having the discussions in advance with your veterinary practice in regards to that you're planning to use a... Um, independent vet lab so you don't require their services and who they use or the courier that they use but you will need them for the blood draw. I recommend that you ask for a veterinary nurse appointment because your bitch isn't ill, you don't need a consultation, they're not going to tell you anything you don't already know but you do need a professional to draw the bloods. The kits that you need to order in advance the ones that I provide, I will actually send you two boxes. So whether you decide to order the kits and I send these for free and you only pay when you return the bloods or whether you prepay in advance, um, I will always send two kits. Whether you paid for one blood test or not, you'll get two kits because I'd rather you have one as a spare and not need it than uh, you need it and you haven't got it. But this box that I send it to you is pre-labeled with my address. So you can send it back to me in the box I've provided to you. You just might have to put some sticky tape on the edge so it's correctly sealed. Inside of, uh, or provided along with the kit, is my detailed one pager, everything you need to know about progesterone blood testing. You can actually download this online as well, but I always provide a copy for everybody. In each box, you will have a hazard bag. In the hazard bag, there will be a um, registration form. This just has the dog's details, your details, so I know whose bloods I'm running and testing when I get them my end. And you'll also have some micro tubes. Now, previously, I've only ever used the white or clear topped. Um, you may find that you have an orange topped in your kits now. That's fine, it's a heparin tube. Uh, it actually means for postal bloods, it really doesn't make any difference. For bloods that are hand delivered to me, um, which I do accept as well as just in the post, uh, but I generally provide the same kits regardless. Um, it means you can run the bloods quicker when they come in the orange top. Please check when you book your appointment with the vet nurse and if possible for it to be an AM appointment because the progesterone levels actually tail off during the day so it's good to start high and for the blood numbers, well, for the appointments to be consistent that they're reading at the same higher AM reading. It's also preferred that she's well hydrated so she's had a good drink and that she hasn't eaten so if you can get in as early as possible or on an AM booking then she can have her food when she gets home. Just that uh, the digestion and breaking down the food will change the uh, composition of the blood. Not hugely but it can have a minor difference. Uh, the benefits also of having an AM appointment is that you can get it to the post office before most post office will have a 3pm cut off. Uh, I strongly recommend if you're posting bloods Monday to Thursday, uh, no Monday to Friday, uh, yeah, Monday to Thursday, that they are sent tracked. Um, if you want to be extra vigilant, then you can do the special delivery. If you're sending them on Friday for Saturday processing, then it must be sent Saturday delivery. Otherwise, I'm not guaranteed to get it. So it must be sent Saturday, specifically next day delivery. It's a special delivery. Always post the bloods the same day you have the blood draw taken. So there's no point drawing the bloods on the Thursday and not posting to the Friday. You always post the bloods the same day they're drawn. I will always run the bloods the, the same day they are received. Okay. So otherwise you're going to start getting time lapse and delays in your results, which makes predicting um, and having the sensible guesstimates a bit more difficult. So that covers the whole um, processing point of view. When I get it my end, uh, I will process, spin the bloods basically in the centrifuge and process them and contact you with what the result is. I generally text people because I like it because you can then copy that text and send it to the stud dog owner or whoever needs to, to see it. But also it means you can refer back. So um, when you're looking at past results, you've got some documented um, 
information that you can possibly scroll back on. I do actually log all the results, so they are on a database um, that I have got, so I can put them up if I needed to, um, but I just generally like texting. Obviously, you can give me a call if you're not sure about something. Uh, I will sometimes will just um, ask for a little bit inf more information if you're travelling for your stud and that kind of stuff, because you can be more risky or not if you're using your own st stud or if you're travelling a long distance. But that basically covers every all the processes you need to know. So just to summarise, order your kits in advance. Have the discussion with your vet in advance in regards to you requiring a blood draw and what the cost of that might be. It can vary anywhere. In the east, it seems to be 8 to £10. Pound. In the south, because we've got companion vets, it can be anywhere from 20 to £80, pound, even in the hundreds, which is ridiculous. So obviously, um, if you need to, shop around. But have that conversation in advance and maybe even have it written on your customer file. So when you're dealing with a different receptionist, you haven't got to go through this painstaking conversation of explaining that you're running using your own independent vet. So order your kits, have the conversation with your vet practice in advance. You need to start testing between day six and nine of season. If it's a maiden bitch, I'd always start day six. She's had a litter before, She's you know she's not an early one, or if she's a working breed, you can generally afford to push back to day nine, but no later. Okay, inside the box it does say just to drop me a text just so I know whether bloods are coming or not because um, if they don't arrive basically I'll just text you and say did you actually still send them because I've not received them or have they gone astray and that kind of thing just gives me a heads up to know to wait for the posting. Uh, any other questions then just let me know and I'll help you as much as I can.